this as the entrance to the train room. And as you all can see, it needs some serious cleanup because there's no way I can stand in here nor get in here. I've been just piling stuff in. So I will have to start and get on this. Hello everybody, welcome back to Chesty Trains. It's been a while and uh, you know, uh, I only posted a few shorts, um, didn't make many videos as such, uh, bought a bunch of trains. Um, you know, now it's getting colder again outside, winter is here, snowing on the ground uh, here in Chester and Calgary. In Alberta, um, you know, we had our first snowfall and uh, so now it's back to trains. Um, short little intro there. Um, I was at the Miniature Wonderland in, in Hamburg again. Um, I can highly recommend uh, if you get a chance to go do the behind scenes tours, do the north tour, the south tour. So that basically split up the Miniature Wonderland now in two tours behind the scenes. Um, just because it's getting bigger and bigger and uh, it's it's well worth it it's phenomenal um, if you uh, if you have time do the VR tour I, di I didn't do the VR anymore uh, I was there the whole day but uh, took a lot of videos uh, off of the uh, miniature wonderland which I'm going to show and then of course uh, you know there was a day well spent there in, in Hamburg now back here I had to clean up in order to be able to get in um, put everything a little bit away uh, there's so much uh, so many new trains train cars like new to me not new like not not I don't buy everything new I buy a lot of used obviously like like you all know uh, but there's is quite a bit that accumulated over the last uh, you know five months four months um, and uh, that I picked up in Germany and, and uh, got shipped to my friend's house in Germany and then uh, basically brought it over here last um, last time I went and uh, that was in in October now um, for just a week but it was long enough and uh, and uh, so now it's back to uh, running trains you've seen the short like uh, I've if you've seen the short of the tank car train so those those vascosa train cars they knew um i just got those uh off ebay for a really good price uh, i had to switch the axles because obviously those are the marklin ones so so i had to put pc axles in it kind of sucks that uh you know you have to pay for them and can't just swap them out like at the at the dealers like uh you know because they they can basically go back to Markland and say, hey, ship me the axles. I had a customer who needed them. But anyways, the uh, local dealer here doesn't do that. Um, <clears throat> so, and I don't know how, and how far it changed. Maybe they can't just switch them out anymore, but I don't know. Uh, in, in Germany, they still do. If you go to buy them in the store, they swap the axles for you for no charge. Um, Another interesting uh, train car I got is these uh, uh, 50 years IC uh, service in Germany. This is like a Trix model, um, number is 23030.001. Uh, this was made for the Wilde 13, that's like 13 uh, train stores together in Germany. Uh, they went together and created this little um group and this train car now is is uh is specially made for them with the color scheme here with with the printing on there and it matches the tricks locomotive i think it's i'm not sure if it's available in Markman. i would think so in the three rail um the other thing is it comes right away with the decoder inside so the decoder switches a um the headlight direction it switches the um, cap lighting on and off and the interior lighting on and off and also it doesn't just have uh, lights in the front it also has the high beam uh, for traveling at night so we'll, we'll see this too probably today in the video um, I wanted to put it in front of some um, local cars now the thing is though with the uh, 
with the Trex one, obviously it's scale wise, it's one to 93 and a half, whereas the Markland one, uh, where it's the local ones are one to 87 scale. So it is a little bit shorter, about 12 millimeters, but on the other hand, uh, it's a leading train car, so I hope it won't be too, too noticeable. But, uh, you know, you guys can write in the comments afterwards if you can really tell if it makes a difference or not, if you like it, if you like it in the consist or, uh, you know, maybe I, I need to reinvest in uh, five or six of the uh, IC coaches from Trix in order to kind of have the train look like all the same. All the train cars are in the same scale. Um, the other thing uh, I wanted to do is basically run the locomotive was it oh there you go so this is the trix locomotive that goes with us 50 years intercity um so basically that one i wanted to run in front of this or in the back of this train have this push the ic over the layout and uh, see how it goes this is made by tricks as well um i don't know the model number i'll probably put it in the in the video description so so that's that to that um i would say let's get started okay. So one thing I have to say after running this, and you saw uh, how well this runs and, and how fast this runs. Um, I had it once going one round at full speed and uh, it, it didn't derail. But what I had to do is um, change the couplers. So first of all, uh, this guy comes obviously with a Markman Tricks coupler. Um, I run normally like in between the, the coaches um, to have them really nice and short together. I run either the, um, oops, sorry, cut the broker again. I either run the um, Roku short coupling, there we go, or I run the uh, Fleischmann short coupling, and see that's how easy they couple. It's already, I just slid back together. Um, then I try to run the Roku short coupling and because and it's really hard to see but these ones are not nearly at the same level um, the the two pockets are, are quite a bit different in height and uh, therefore um, the Roku coupling wouldn't work the Fleischmann coupling wouldn't work uh, so I figured you know what I take two markling couplings and I put the two markling couplings on and it didn't work either so uh reason for that was probably because of the height difference and also the uh 
the distance between the corners became so tight that the two buffers actually levered the end coach out of the track and uh, it derailed constantly. So then I figured, okay, I'm just going to try one of the old uh, loop couplers on one side, the Markman short coupler on the Roco car. Now, when I push them together, obviously you can see like there's, there's, there's quite the gap, right? Um, but I think uh, I will find somehow some adjustable uh, Roco couplers or some. Um, I think I have the height adjustable one yet uh, that I can put in there. They are a little bit longer. And then I should end up with kind of like a, you know, a little bit more of a gap than I have here between the coaches, but probably not as noticeable as, as this now. And uh, hopefully that'll give me the operational safety that I need. Uh, anyways, uh, the the locomotive did really well. I'm just going to uh, bring it up here. Um, let's just have the train pass. But yeah, you can see these local coaches are really, really nice. Uh, with the tinted windows. Uh, there's a restaurant coming up. And of course the first class. And there's a locomotive. Of course, stopped in the wrong spot. But uh, here, same thing again. Now, I, I tried to go with the vocal couplers in between uh, the locomotive and the first coach. It did not work. Um, it kept pushing this coach out of the track uh, due to the buffers levering each other out. So I went by and uh, um, put two of the marking couplers back in. Uh, they are a little bit longer than the Roco short coupling, so that worked then. Uh, it did not derail anymore and uh, gave us actually really, really nice running speed and uh, safe operation. I left the marking coupler in this side. Eventually, I'll have to uh, uh, take the marking coupler out of this side, put the brake hoses on, because I think I want to leave this train as it is, as one consist. And... Uh, Anyways, uh, you guys saw now the, the train run, um, you know, um, let's maybe bring it back the other way. Uh, just going to turn the locomotive around. And we'll bring it back the other way. Sorry guys, I don't have this on the on a stand it's just my my hand holding this um, camera on my phone here uh, but what I wanted to do is get out a, another Steuerwagen and just put it next to it in comparison okay so guys so second. here in comparison now uh, lengthwise so we're roughly about there, nope, not quite. So we're we're right there for lengthwise. Um, in the front now, you can see it makes about yeah, you know, and maybe twenty millimeters difference. Um, this one being the Roco one, this one being the Trix one. Uh, this one obviously doesn't. The Roco one doesn't have a decoder yet. It doesn't have the fifty uh, year anniversary printing. Um, looks very similar from the front. Uh, lights are pretty dim, right? So we'll have to do some on that. Um, I don't know, is it, is it red lights right now? No, lights are pretty dim. Uh, there we go. Oh, now they turned off. So I think I think the wheels are a little bit dirty. But, uh, so that's the Roku Steuerwagen. So um, I think, personally, running it now, it looked great. I don't think uh, I'm too concerned about not running it in this contest here of these uh, um, Era 6 colored intercity coaches. So I'll, I'll leave it at that and uh, call that my 50 year anniversary um, intercity. So yeah, that's uh, that about that. Um, detail is great on the, on the, uh, tricks car the only thing uh, the interior is quite boring and just white so we'll have to paint a little bit and then i think uh, because i want to run this with the uh, 
Stoyo and uh, steering coach going ahead. I think I'll have to mount a, um, a driver into the cap and uh, and also uh, you know pep up the cap a little bit color wise uh, so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, that's it for that. Uh, I think this video now is long enough. So uh, I'll see you guys next time and uh, like and subscribe if you like. Uh, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know about the Steuerwagen. What do you think? Um, I bought mine from uh, um, Modell Eisenbahn in Cologne, Lindenburg. Lindenburg. Um, I put the uh, web address in here, and then uh, I don't. I don't know if they have any more, but uh, they were they were awesome service, and uh, and uh, yeah, they part of the Wilde 13, and that's where you can buy those. So. Anyways, keep tuned guys, uh, you know, let me know what you think, let me know what, what else you want to see, if you see some on the layout here that uh, I haven't shown yet, uh, on the shelves or, you know, elsewhere, um, I have quite a few Vectrons that I wanted to show you guys, uh, I have some uh, ESU locomotives that I just recently uh, purchased used, so uh, yeah, if there's anything that takes your interest, let me know, there's lots down here, see? So uh, until next time, take care.